contacts with the state of Illinois to auction people because we had a, a, a Coronet Insurance, which is Clyde Ingalls' company, ended up. I don't know. I don't think he ever went to jail, but he he should have because he tanked Coronet Insurance and then he tanked the Bank of Lincoln Ward. Uh, but when he tanked Coronet, the state of Illinois came down and took over his operations and put him in a liquidation mode. Yeah. So we we had a tenant that wanted to take uh, some other space. Yeah. But we couldn't be sure when the state got out. So the tenant said, look, you could do us a huge favor if we could just buy that furniture. And they said, okay. So we went to the, to the state people that were handling the liquidation. He said, we don't have to bid. I said, oh, okay. So we bid $5,000 for, I think it was about... 20,000 square feet of furniture. And it was everything from nice stuff like this to a lot of the cubes and everything. And they were already in place and everything. You were able to bid 5,000? We bid 5,000 on behalf of our tenant. Yeah. Our new prospective tenant at San Luis. Guess what the guy from Gently Used Furniture bid? How much? 5,000 to one. $5,200. <laughs> and he... And he won. So we called him up and said, you know what, this is going to be the fastest thousand dollars you're ever going to make. He started laughing. Was he, he started able laughing. He says, I've already got it sold. <laughs> I said, what do you mean? Oh, yeah, I've already got it sold. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take it out and reduce it. Well, you don't have to touch it at all. And he goes, yeah, okay. That's $50,000. Huh? Said, huh? He sold it for $50,000. <laughs> I said, well, well, we'll talk to a tenant and get back to you. I think the tenant negotiated it down to like 40. Still, but he just made. Oh, <laughs> sure, he had to stick an envelope full of $100 bills to somebody in the state. But, and that was during Wyand's regime. That happened every day. Yeah, it was par for the course. So this is cool because it does have some nice stuff in all the mm -hmm. corner offices. I mean, this is definitely usable. And I think for the fact to fill up that office, I think if this is what, five, six floors, ten floors? And it's ten well, floors full of this? There's ten, ten floors in this building. There's six in the next. It's 330,000 square feet is the whole complex. Jesus. <laughs> <clears throat> so there's everything from file cabinet to paper trays to a bazillion cubicles. That we can come in for a couple thousand, take whatever we need, transport it. Okay. I think Al's going to be so happy when you sign the lease for the next seventh floor. He will. Well, do you think we should include this in the lease? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. That's an, this is part and parcel of the deal. Yeah. Yeah, because if he helps us, for, see, because this is nice stuff. Yeah, this, he's got some decent stuff. Like I said, it's not all this crap, but. Well, in something that's like this, I mean, just all the paper trays. As so, as crazy as it sounds, I mean, that's stuff that you need. No, I know. This and is you like you gotta buy it. Believe me, they, they charge a fortune for it. Yeah, mailboxes. I mean, I would use the crap out of this. And then all these cabinets. So I mean, this definitely has to be put into the lease. Okay. Because I think this. This year, we'll, for a few thousand dollars, we'll be able to furnish something that